everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Raid Shadow Legends, and well, it's my turn for a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a negative video, I guess you could say, but being honest, and I know sometimes you guys think that, oh, because we're official content creators, we, we sugarcoat things, or you miss the people that used to be really blunt about Plarium screwing up, well... We're not like that. If you haven't noticed, there's been a lot of content creators not very happy with this fusion. And it's not just because he's mediocre. Uh, let's be honest. He he has a good kit for some accounts. Some accounts he's going to be amazing for. But getting him for those accounts, like, can they even get him? That's the real question. And I'm going to talk today about why I am skipping this fusion, my first choice of a full skip, well, mostly full skip, I'll explain, but my first choice of skipping uh, since I've done fusions. Now, I've been playing for a long time, I've been playing for three years, and I did not do the fusions in the beginning. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was not very efficient with stuff. I played kind of casually, more like I'm doing on my free-to-play, honestly. Um, for the free-to-play challenge, I play a lot lighter. But I think my first ever fusion that I started to realize like how good fusions could be was Rotos. Um, I didn't fuse Rotos because the community didn't like him. They wanted Siffy. They were bummed it wasn't Siffy. They were bummed it was Rotos. And I got Sepulchre Sentinel instead from the Epics. And then after that, I had did every single fusion ever since. Now, there is one exception, which is pretty ironic to this. I missed the Brogni fusion by accident, not by choice, by accident. But that's because it was just as hard as this, right? The Brogni fusion made us have to do everything or you were screwed. And guess what? They did it again. So I remember when this first was announced that it was going to be fusing of a legendary by getting epic fragments and fusing those epics. I was happy. Like, I was genuinely happy. So I like the idea of... People being able to get epics and choose the epic instead of the legendary for fusions. I love that. I think it's great for early mid-game people or just players that don't have the time to fully grind out these events as hard as you need to. Or maybe there was just a really awesome shard pull event that you went all in on and now you have no shards left so you can't do the summoning events. That's most of our realities right now, isn't it? And that's why I'm complaining. So I really like these fusions, but this is that Plarium went about this so wrong in a way to make it look like they're being generous, but actually they're being pretty freaking terrible. And it's ter it's gross. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And I'm very disappointed, but I'm not surprised. I know people are like, why are you surprised? It's Plarium. We shouldn't feel that way about the company, but we do, and they need to change. They need to stop this crap. They need to stop pissing us off. Let's be honest, right? Am I right? They need to stop pissing us all off. Back-to-back -back personal reward CVCs. That's the stuff that breaks up clans. That's the stuff that makes people quit the game. Um, throwing out a fusion that sucks after some really, really, really good fusions before that. Eh. And then, not only does this fusion kind of fall flat for most accounts, with the exception of a Scarab King guy, who cares that there's so many other people that can do it too. Metal Shaper can do his job. He's a rare, right? Right? <laughs> with, the, with the exception of all of that, like, they actually made the event harder than it was going to seem like it was going to be. Now, on first glance, on first glance, I look down here. Let's see if I could zoom. Let's zoom in. So I looked down here and I was like, okay, 130 fragments, 15 from tournament leaderboards. So, oh, cool. We only need 115 fragments. Oh, sorry. We can get 115 fragments for each champion. Oh, that's so nice. Plarium actually did what we asked. They made it easier 
than Brogni fusion. So we have extra fragments left over. You don't have to do everything to get the epics. Perfect. This will make it easier if someone's struggling to do summon rush or something. But look at that. Look at this summon rush. This is the problem. So we can miss 15. These are 25 each. So if we want to skip the summon rush because we just used all of our shards for the recent events that they keep throwing at us. And let's say we're going to do champion chase. Okay, fine. We're going to do all of champion chase, but we're going to skip summon rush. We can't. Unless you want to win two tournaments for Carolina and two tournaments for Wuji. Four tournaments you got to place in the leaderboards. That is absolutely terrible to try to make it look like they're being generous down here, but really they do this. So 100% I am not going for this fusion. I don't care. Um, I'm going to do what I can when the events are active for sake of normal grinding using my energy. And I am going to get this fella right here. I'm going to get Anchorite. He's easy to get all things considered. Spider Tournament, I already did it. Use Stage 20 Easy Farming for points with Super Raids. That's the one th good thing they've been doing with Fusions is they've been, besides putting out good Fusions before this, I should say, they did do that until now. Uh, they are actually giving us Super Raids during Fusions, which help a grind, helps us grind faster, which thank you for that one thing at least. Um, that's the only thing I can say thank you for regarding this Fusion, though. Otherwise, we're all pissed off, Plarium. We're all pissed off. Um... I mean, I, because I'm endgame doesn't mean I have a bunch of shards. Because I'm a content creator doesn't mean I have a bunch of shards. Um, I, I used my shards during other events by choice. Maybe I made that mistake. But either way, we shouldn't have to do both summoning events. Every other fusion, if you skip, if you do the champion chase, you can just do some of the summon rush. Or you can skip it if you do one tournament placement one total out of the whole event one this you have to do four so i'm gonna go with this guy sorry back to this guy i like anchorite he's got an aoe a1 he's a solid support champion and definitely usable for clan boss for hydra clan boss and i can see him falling into place in secret rooms when we need um anyone epic anything epic spirit or just sacred order only which there is some of those right guys so i think he might come in handy. Um, spider tournament done. Champion training is a bit hard. It's at like 5,100 points. So I'm a little bit bummed by that. For my free-to-play challenge account, it's a bit of hard of a grind. Honestly, I'm bummed for that on the main account because I really don't have anyone else legendary-wise that I want to level. All of my champions I want to work on are leveled. I just don't have books for them. That's the trouble. I don't have books. Uh, artifact enhancement is always easy to do for my main account. It might be a little bit of a struggle for my free-to-play. Dungeon Divers 2, I think, is usually harder than the first one, right? Um, but that's okay. Grinding is a good thing for my account. Again, Champion Training Event, another one. That's good things to do for my account anyway, just to progress my account. Work on food, work on next six stars. Even if I don't six star a single person, I could at least work on a bunch of five star, up to a bunch of five star food and be ready to make some new six stars when I get new champions, right? So at least there's that. Um, and then arena is always easy. So, okay, fine. So Anchorite, I'm going for Anchorite on both accounts because why not? Um, and... <sighs> I would have liked to have gone for Wuji. She can be a solid mischief target for Hydra, and she would be great to use in some like lower tier um, Hydra content where I could be like, all right, epics only, or you know, like, rares and epics. You know, trying to mix it up and make it more budget friendly seeming for the lower levels of Hydra. But she's going to be impossible to get with the sum a second tier part of the summon rush. No, thank you. So yeah, that that's my decision, guys. Um, I am just going for Anchorite, nothing else. But I, if I get some, I'm going to get fragments along the way. I've already got all the ones from the current Dungeon Divers because I was working on Spider so hard. And I needed to grind Spider because I had no silver. I had, like, guys, I had, like, literally no silver. And now I'm back to 79 million. I had none a week ago. So in the last few days, I grinded Spider with Clan versus Clan tournament. And then I just grinded Spider 20 for this tournament and sold 
pretty much everything I used. I used um, 3000 energy and only kept like three, four, five pieces maybe. Uh, but that's how it goes for events like this. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you going to go for any part of this fusion? Are you going for the legendary just because you always try to get the legendary no matter what? If, if you can. See, I only have six sacreds. My, they're behind my head. But yeah, I only have six sacreds. So, I'm not buying any. Yeah, I could pull Ancients, Voids, and Sacreds and do both Champion Chase and Champion Training. Or, champ, or sorry, Summon Rush, but I don't want to do that. I, I, I shouldn't... This champion isn't good enough to warrant going all out, wasting all of my resources at bad timing. It's just not worth it. If he was absolutely amazing, like Brogni, Brogni was worth the hard fusion. This guy, I don't think so. I just don't think so. And on that note, guys, save your Demar. I call her Demarja. I'm not really sure how we're supposed to say her name, but I call her Demarja. Um, she's awesome and all, but I don't really need her on my account. But if you do want to get points for this Champion Chase tournament, just because you're doing the fusion or just because you want the other rewards around it too, summon her. I hope you summoned her now and didn't do it yesterday, guys. Don't do it Yes, If you did it yesterday, it's too late. What am I saying? Don't do it yesterday. I guess I can't rewind time. But yeah, this is Champion Chase points. Free Champion Chase points, right? Free Champion Chase points. All right. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, I have to actually make you guys laugh at me for this. I took a clan quest to... Um, let me show you down here. Oh, yeah, I can see my at the top, right? Get an epic void champion. I was like, it's fine. I'll just fuse a broad maw for champion chase because I'm going to be doing champion chase anyway with the fusion, right? Wrong. So I actually had to waste a broad maw fusion that could have been points for a future event. Um... I wasted one and to fuse a pointless broad mod just for points that I don't even actually care about. So yay, that was my foul of the day or week or whatever you want to call it. But yep, you know what you guys want to do instead? I forgot. Before I end this video, you know what you do instead of doing this stupid, terrible fusion? We do exactly what Plarium doesn't want us to do. Sorry, Plarium, not sorry, but this is the reality. The way they set this up, go, go make your referral links, guys. Uh, Hell Hades made a one. Hell HH Gaming, Safira, all the guys there made a wonderful website resource um, for just creating a referral link. I take the thousand energy, go do this. That's what I'm going to do. Instead of focusing this fusion, I'm going to go make three accounts, get them to level 50 because why not take the sacred shards as well? And then I'm going to forget about them probably, like what happens with these ones up here normally. I know that wasn't their intention, but that's what everybody's doing. Everyone's making videos on it. It's the reality because there's not enough incentive up here for people to actually try to find real players to grind out, go past level 51, spend money in the game, and collect these rewards. These rewards kind of suck, so no one's doing that. I hate to be negative, guys. I know we're, especially as an official content creator in the program, uh, we try to keep, I mean, I try to keep my neg negativity to a, mi a minimum anyway, just because I do love this game. We're still playing it. We complain about it, but we love it. We, we actually have a passion for it, right? We're passionate because we love it. So at least I understand that Plarium understands that we have a passionate player base because we genuinely care about this game and its success and we want to have fun with it. So help us out, Plarium. Help us out. Stop pissing us off. Please. 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 